I'm Simon O'Connor and this year we have five horses heading to Dublin. I think Dublin Horse Show is like the pinnacle of most Irish people's showing year really. Um, everyone works incredibly hard to try and get there and try and find a horse that's good enough to compete there and one with good enough temperament and you know to make it into the ring is an achievement in itself because many people don't get that far or you work hard all year and something goes wrong at the last minute so I think even just to get through once you cross over the the road and get into the into the arena and it's it's an achievement in itself. So I first in Dublin when I was on the lead and um, I had a little lead range show pony called High Tops Exquisite. She was a chestnut mare um, and yeah she was she was nice and then I went back and first ridden and I think I had second itis and I had many seconds over the years um, and then I had a very good very good pony called Valentine Dignity who I won on at Hoys and was champion at Hoys on him. Um, he unfortunately never made it to Dublin but nevertheless was still a very very good pony of mine. Um, and then I had another very good one called Imperial High Tide, he was a 15 hand show hunter pony, he was champion at Balmoral. And then I had another good horse called Running Ruby Tuesday. She went to Hoys as well and was second. So my mom obviously competed when she was my age. Um, she actually bought a Connemara pony off Jane Bradbury, um, a 14 hander, and he was called Blackmore by the Admiral. Um, and she went on to win Dublin with him a few times and was champion at Dublin and represented Ireland in the, in the European Working Hunter. And yeah, he lived until he was 33, which is a pretty, pretty remarkable age. Griffinstown is a five-year-old traditional Irish horse um, by Imperial Tiger. Uh, he's owned by Marianne and Jill Casey, and I'm lucky enough to have the ride on him this year. Um, we got him in March, and since then he's been supreme at the Western Area IPS show. He qualified for the Colusty All Ireland Supreme, which he then won, and then he was supreme at Clonmel um, last weekend as well. This is a qualifier for the Calisti My mum has a habit, she just never watches me, even at Hoys, like she would be off box walking as I call it somewhere else. Um yeah, it's just it's like a tradition, she never breaks, she never watches me. Even though like she was well able to go in and jump around Dublin and I think if you can jump around Dublin you can do anything, but yeah, no, she just never watches me. My dad's around, he'll um he's very busy with work at the moment, but if he's free he'd often record me and then she can watch it back. Ashley's grand finale, he's a six year old skewbold and he is competing in the coloured class on the Friday um, and he was supreme at Limerick Clare area IPS this year and he was also supreme at the Wickler area IPS and he had his first uh, ride judge on Sunday and he won and was champion riding horse there as well. He, he's quirky, but he is, he is probably one of my favorites. Um, and he's extremely intelligent. He's, he has a, a reputation of getting loose at um, a lot of shows. If he, if he doesn't have a chiffney in his mouth, he, he knows full well when he doesn't. And yeah, he will end up on the other side of the showground. A lot of my college friends would go to Dublin just for the social side, you know, to go out with a few friends and have a drink or wash the aga can or, you know, just have a good day out really because it is, it is a great day out even for non-equestrian people. Glenville Gloitcha, she's a five-year-old grey mare by Cushing Stormboy and she is competing in the form five-year-old ridden. She Connemara, she qualified at um, Fourth Mountain and she is going to be ridden by a good friend of mine, Navy in Rwan, because I have another one in the same class. Um, she's actually in foal now to Glencarg Knight and will hopefully be my mum's brood mare. But I decided after I was finished um, in college, once I've done my exams, I decided for the laugh to bring her in and do a bit of work with her. 
and after only being broken for around three weeks she was supreme at um, Kildare North Leinster area IPS and then the following week went on to qualify for Dublin um, with with Aveen and yeah she's she's lovely but she's she's nice to ride but she's a demon in the stable she's really really grumpy um, and yeah you don't want to get on the wrong side of her but but she's good. My mum's very good she um, would help me source a lot of the the ponies we have now and pretty much everything I have on the yard now I've broken myself and done I've done them myself since day one and you know them inside out you know their quirks what they like what they don't like uh, everything about them and I've been on the ends of both spectrum I've had a ready-made pony and one that's been there done that and got the results and I've now everything I have on the yard they've been literally raw three-year-olds that we found and you know put time and effort in and made them what they are now but it doesn't come without a lot of hard work and a lot of bad days and a lot of blood sweat and tears. And Chuck Moore Sparrow, he's a four-year-old Dun Gelding um, by Blake Hill Sparrow and we bought him last year about a year ago now so I've had him and I've broken him all myself and yeah he qualified for Dublin at Tully Lish, he won the very first qualifier. Um, he hasn't done too much because I don't like overdoing a four-year-old and I also have two Connemara stallions so they're all kind of young and against each other so it's hard to get them all out but he's out of them all he's probably had the least least experience. He was reserve supreme at the show of the East um, and that was only his second show and then he was champion at Wicklow area as well and he went to Balmoral and he was third. Bally Lee Castle Prince has qualified for the over 17 ridden. He qualified at Tully Lish and will be ridden by one of my best friends, Chloe Lacey. Prince was obviously my very first Connemara. I got him when I was only 11, so I was very small. Um, so it's over 10 years ago now we have him. And um, yeah, he won Dublin with me and won Clifton a few times and he was champion at Balmoral. And then Chloe took him to Hoy's last year. And yeah, he's definitely pony of a lifetime for me. I'm currently studying equine science in UCD. Uh, going into my third year in that. Um, and I love it. It's great to have something outside of the horses. Um, but yeah, it involves a lot of early mornings to try and get them ridden before and then late evenings to get them done after as well. Um, and then obviously I have a dressage horse now as well. And as much as I love the showing, I think it's hard to make a, a full career out of it, I think. Um, whereas the dressage maybe would offer me that opportunity. But yeah, I love both, like showing I've done since I was three and it's all I know. And I love the attention to detail and everything. I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to that. so. If I could do showing all my life, I absolutely would, because I do love it. Valencia is the name of my dressage horse, and he's a four-year-old black 16-2 uh, gelding by Vivaldi. Um, and yeah, I hope to train him with the help of Sorel, Colasco, um, all the way up to Grand Prix level. That is definitely my, my goal and lifelong ambition to try and get to Grand Prix, so yeah. That's definitely what I want to try and achieve as well. I've been very lucky that I've had a very successful um, show career to date, I'd say. Um, and I've been lucky to have some really nice horses and ponies. And I think a lot of that goes down to my parents who work incredibly hard and they've both full-time jobs to allow me to do what I love. So I'm very, very grateful for that. And um, yeah, but it doesn't come without hard work. and disappointments and everything but I think it's all worth it in the end. About four weeks to Dublin now so I think we're just going to keep the routines the same and um, I think the four that we have here on the yard that are going they might just get one more show each uh, before Dublin and that'll kind of be it really I won't show them close to Dublin like you know because I want them looking right and everything to be perfect so yeah they might do one more show now next weekend and then that will be it and just all roads lead to Dublin. Mm -hmm.